Today, we're going to be discussing drugs and their classification based on different aspects. Drugs are chemical substances that change a person's mental or physical state. They can affect the way your brain works, how you feel and behave, your understanding, and your senses. Some drugs have legitimate medical uses and are prescribed by doctors to treat various conditions, while others are illegal and have no recognized medical use. In this video, we are discussing classifications based on chemical structure, drug action, pharmacological effect, and therapeutic use. Classification based on chemical structure. Drugs can be classified based on their chemical structure, which is determined by the arrangement of atoms and bonds in the molecule. This classification system is often used because drugs with similar chemical structures often have similar properties and effects. Examples of drug classes based on chemical structure include opioids, benzodiazepines, and statins. Opioids Opioids are chemically similar to opium, which is derived from the poppy plant. Opioids work by binding to specific receptors in the brain and spinal cord, which reduces the perception of pain and can produce feelings of euphoria. Examples of opioids are morphine, codeine, and oxycodone. Benzodiazepines, these drugs have a common structure of a benzene ring fused to a diazepine ring. Benzodiazepines enhance the effects of a neurotransmitter called gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, which reduces anxiety and promotes relaxation. They include drugs such as Valium, Ativan, and Xanax. Statins, they are used to lower cholesterol levels in the blood. Statins inhibit an enzyme called hydroxymethylutyryl coenzyme A reductase, which is involved in the production of cholesterol in the liver. They include drugs such as atrovastatin, simavastatin, and rosvastatin. 2. Classification based on drug action. Drugs can also be classified based on their mechanism of action, which is how they produce their effects in the body. This classification system is often used because drugs with similar mechanisms of action often have similar therapeutic uses and side effects. Examples of drug classes based on mechanism of action include beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and SSRIs. Beta blockers, they block the effects of adrenaline and other stress hormones on the heart and blood vessels. Beta blockers are used to treat conditions such as hypertension, angina, and heart failure. Examples of beta blockers are propranolol, atenolol, and metaprolol. ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors are a class of drugs that work by blocking the action of an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE, which is involved in the regulation of blood pressure and fluid balance. ACE inhibitors are used to treat hypertension, heart failure, and kidney disease. Examples are drugs such as lisinopril, enalapril, and ramipril. SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors works by increasing the levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin in the brain. SSRIs are used to treat conditions such as depression, anxiety, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. Examples are fluoxetine, sertraline, and acetylopram. 3. Classification based on pharmacological effect. Drugs can be classified based on their pharmacological effect, which is the intended therapeutic effect of the drug. This classification system is often used because drugs with similar pharmacological effects often have similar therapeutic uses and side effects. Examples of drug classes based on pharmacological effect include analgesics, anti-inflammatory drugs, antihypertensive drugs, Analgesics. Analgesics are used to relieve pain. Analgesics work by blocking the transmission of pain signals in the brain and spinal cord. They include drugs such as acetaminophen, ibuprofen, and morphine. Anti-inflammatory drugs. Anti-inflammatory drugs reduce inflammation and swelling in the body. They work by inhibiting the production of prostaglandins, which are involved in the inflammatory response. They include drugs such as aspirin, naproxen, and corticosteroids. Antihypertensive drugs, they are used to lower blood pressure. They reduce the force and rate of the heartbeat, relaxing blood vessels, or decreasing the volume of blood in the body. 
they include drugs such as diuretics, beta blockers, and ACE inhibitors. 4. Classification based on therapeutic use Drugs can be classified based on their therapeutic use, which is the specific condition or disease that the drug is used to treat. This classification system is often used because drugs with similar therapeutic uses often have similar mechanisms of action and side effects. Examples of drug classes based on therapeutic use include Antibiotics, antipsychotics, and immunosuppressants. Antibiotics Antibiotics are a class of drugs that are used to treat bacterial infections. Antibiotics work by killing or slowing the growth of bacteria. They include drugs such as penicillin, amoxicillin, and ciprofloxacin. Antipsychotics Antipsychotics are used to treat psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. They work by blocking the effects of dopamine and other neurotransmitters in the brain. They include drugs such as risperidone, olanzapine, and aripiprazole. Immunosuppressants Immunosuppressants are a class of drugs that are used to suppress the immune system to prevent rejection of transplanted organs or to treat autoimmune diseases. Immunosuppressants work by inhibiting the activity of immune cells such as T-cells and B-cells. They include drugs such as cyclosporin, tacrolimus, and mycophenolate. Finally the misuse or abuse of drugs can lead to addiction, overdose, and other negative health consequences. It's important to use drugs only as prescribed by a doctor or follow applicable laws and regulations. If you or someone you know is struggling with drug addiction, it's important to seek help from a healthcare professional or addiction treatment center. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it helpful.